top 10 tiny creatures capable of killing you. While the littlest life forms fit for executing a human fall on the microorganisms and infection parts of the tree of life, they aren't what many would call a animal. There are a lot of appropriate creatures that have been murdering people for countless years. In truth, the majority of the deadliest creatures on the planet are generally huge. While they are positively intriguing, the littlest executioner critters can be undeniably really captivating. These ten creatures are two key things, they're little and awfully dangerous. Since they could all slaughter an individual, they are organized from the biggest to the littlest destructive critter. Likewise, no vectors here, so don't anticipate seeing mosquitoes or insects, just creatures that can slaughter an individual through direct contact. Number 10 is Australian Box Jellyfish. Most jellyfish are a greater amount of an irritating aggravation than everything else. They will in general crowd and disrupt everything when you're jumping, and outside an intermittent agonizing sting, they aren't a very remarkable bother. Some jellyfish stings are unbearable, yet they don't bring about death. That is not valid for the Australian box jellyfish, Chironix flackery, which is frequently referred to as the most venomous marine animal. C. Fleckery is the biggest of the 51 known types of box jellyfish. As far as size, they normal around 12 inches, 30 centimeters, in breadth. Its appendages can stretch out for 10 feet, 3 meters, so it's not the littlest thing in the ocean. Regardless, it's something that ought to be maintained a strategic distance from no matter what, which can be troublesome. They don't drift the boat with the current and can swim up to 20 feet slash second, 6 meters per second, or 4 bunches. Their appendages can convey infinitesimal darts conveying seriously agonizing venom. If stung and left untreated, demise can draw near 2 to 5 minutes. A solitary sea fleckery has sufficient taxon to slaughter around 60 grown up people. Almost 80 fatalities have been recorded in Australia since the 19th century. Number 9 is Amazonian Giant Centipede. The Amazonian Giant Centipede, Scolopendra giganto, is probably the biggest centipede on Earth, arriving at 12 inches, 30 centimeters, long. They can be found all through South America and the Caribbean, where it appreciates eating other enormous arthropods, creatures of land and water, reptiles, birds and little mammals. These centipedes are genuine carnivores. It has no issue overwhelming other generally huge bugs, creepy crawlies, scorpions, reptiles, frogs, bats, mice, and birds. While they may look intriguing, they ought to never be dealt with. They have an especially dreadful toxin they wouldn't fret imparting to the world. The toxin of S. giganta contains a strong neurotoxin, making it workable for them to bring down creatures essentially bigger than themselves. The toxin focuses on the cardiovascular, respiratory, solid, and sensory systems, debilitating their victims. Envenomation in people is extraordinarily difficult and can cause extreme issues if not treated. There is just one reported instance of death from a nibble. In 2014, a four-year-old youngster in Venezuela discovered one out of an open soft drink can. The ensuing chomp brought about the youngster's passing regardless of a lot of exertion clinical experts made attempting to save his life. Number 8 is Geography Cone. Cone snails are normal around the world, and in view of their splendidly huge shells, they are profoundly valued by shell gatherers. It's in every case best to gather the shells long after the snail has passed on in light of the fact that a considerable lot of the 600 plus species are amazingly venomous. The generally hazardous of all is the geography cone, Conus geographus, found in the coral reefs of the tropical Indo Pacific. Notwithstanding being a little snail that develops to somewhere in the range of 4 and 6 inches, 10, 15 centimeters, C. geographus effectively chases fish. It does this by shooting a spear-like tooth that conveys an incredible venom. These little men's toxin sneaks up suddenly, and there is no antibody to treat individuals whenever they are hit with it. The lone thing clinical experts can do is attempt to keep an individual alive long enough for the poisons to wear off. If a grown-up is hit with the toxin of the geography cone, they will pass on inside one to five hours without clinical treatment. They are frequently called cigarette snails because of an old piece of hangman's tree humor. 
It's said that after a sting, an individual has sufficient opportunity to smoke a solitary cigarette before they kick the bucket. Number 7 is Death Stalker Scorpion. Scorpions are in every case to some degree risky to people, as their sting watches out for a company a great deal of torment. In any case, they aren't commonly lethal, however this isn't to imply that there are certainly not a couple of equipped for slaughtering an individual. The deadliest known is the Death Stalker Scorpion, Lyris Quinquest Triodus, which measures around 3 to 4 inches, 80 to 110 millimeters. They are found all through North Africa and the Middle East, where they are notable for the risk they present. Their toxin is a dreadful blend of neurotoxins that convey a low deadly portion. It incorporates chlorotoxin, charybdotaxin, xylotaxin, and three kinds of agitaxins, all of which block explicit channels of the anxious system. While the envenomation of a grown up doesn't ordinarily bring about death, the youthful, infirmed, and older are all in danger. Most stings bring about hypersensitivity, which can be trailed by pancreatitis. An antibody exists, yet it is regularly required in enormous dosages to counter the death stalker's toxins effects. When passing happens, it's frequently the consequence of respiratory disappointment. Curiously, while their toxin can be deadly, it contains parts that may help treat mind tumors and diabetes. Number 6 is Blue Ring Octopus. A great many people don't consider an octopus a venomous animal since the primary spotlight is ordinarily on its eight legs. There are a few venomous octopi, and the deadliest is, by a long shot, the blue ring octopus. There are four species, and all of them can be destructive to humans. Blue ringed octopi are little contrasted with different species, as most measure somewhere in the range of 2.5 and 4 inches, 6 to 10 centimeters. They get their name on account of the splendid blue rings tracked down everywhere on their bodies, and they can be found in tide pools and coral reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. A blue ringed octopus is regularly resigned around people, which can be an issue. This leads clueless individuals to get them to respect their remarkable shading, however this is a misstep. The little octopi are a portion of the world's most venomous marine creatures and their taxon is no joke. They convey an amazing neurotoxin tetrodotaxin. A solitary octopus has enough to kill 25 grown-up people very quickly. Their chomp is regularly easy on account of their little size, so the vast majority who are nibbled possibly acknowledge it when they quit breathing and become incapacitated. Number 5 is Golden Poisoned Art Frog. The Golden Poisoned Art Frog, Phylobates terribles is the most toxic creature on the planet. The catchphrase here is toxic, as it has no toxin of its own. All things considered, a solitary frog has sufficient toxic substance emitted from its skin to slaughter 22,000 mice. Their name is gotten from the Chaco Imbra, who utilize the frogs to harm their darts utilized for hunting. These minuscule frogs develop to a limit of 2 inches, 55 millimeters, making them especially little. They are valued for their hue, which is seemingly very wonderful. In any case, dealing with one is a horrendous thought should you discover them in their local environment of Colombia's Pacific Coast forests. Thought their skin is thickly covered in an alkaloid poison, which makes a casualty's nerves quit sending driving forces. This prompts cardiovascular breakdown, and a solitary frog contains enough poisons to execute between 10 to 20 people. Fortunately, Deadly harming is uncommon, however it can occur. On the off chance that the frogs are taken out from their local living space, they quit delivering poisons, delivering them innocuous. Their poison works from their utilization of subterranean insects that bring about the development of batrachal toxins, so without the insects, they become harmless. Number 4 is Giant Silkworm Moth Caterpillar. The Giant Silkworm Moth Caterpillar, Laromia oblica is a Saturnid moth animal types found in South America. They are generally little, estimating just around 2 inches, 5.5 centimeters, long. As indicated by the Guinness World Records, they compensate for their size by being the most venomous caterpillar in the world. Most public don't consider caterpillars to be a danger, yet in the event that you ought to at any point wind up remaining on away with one of these, don't go any place close to it. 
they have a poisonous toxin fit for causing scattered intravascular coagulation and destructive coagulopathy. That is an extravagant method of saying it makes your blood coagulation all through your body. When that occurs, hemorrhagic disorder and passing aren't a long ways behind. These little men don't nibble their casualties to infuse taxin. All things being equal, their empty fibers, which are tracked down everywhere on its body, contain and infuse the toxin into the helpless moron who contacts them. Their spines may look like hairs, however they can without much of a stretch enter the skin to convey their taxin. Fatalities are regular with these caterpillars, yet the mice isn't sure. It can require a few excruciating and hopeless days to kick in. So prompt clinical treatment is required. Number 3 is Sydney Funnel Web Spider. A few types of creepy crawlies are equipped for slaughtering people, which is one explanation arachnophobia is so predominant. In any case, by far most could just damage a fly, all things considered. An insect's toxin is squandered on a human since we aren't their typical prey. Still, a few creepy crawlies can murder, and the Sydney Funnel Web Spider is one of the deadliest. They must be found inside a 63 mile, 100 kilometers, span of Sydney, Australia, and they are the most venomous insects on the planet, in regards to their harmfulness to humans. They aren't the biggest creepy crawlies on the planet, with most models' body length going from 0.4 to 2 inches, 1 to 5 centimeters. They have huge, dreadful looking teeth, which they use to infuse their whole toxin hold into their victims. The toxin contains a compound called atricotoxin, which represses the sensory system in primates. This can prompt passing in just 15 minutes if untreated with counteragent. A full envenomated nibble can execute a grown-up human, however they are more perilous to the youthful and old. Number 2 is Blue Sea Dragon. Blue Sea Dragons, Glaucus Atlanticus, are types of ocean slug known for their excellent and special shape, which looks like a mythical serpent. They measure just about 1.2 inches, 3 centimeters, and can be found all through the world seas, yet in the event that you at any point see one, stay away from it at all costs. These critters might be wonderful to take a gander at, however they are inconceivably hazardous and more than willing to sting somebody who gets them. Their eating routine comprises of other venomous creatures, explicitly the pieces of creatures that contain toxin. One of their number one suppers is the nematocysts from the Portuguese man o war. When a creature eats only toxin, they will in general fuse what they eat into their own awful sting. At the point when they do sting somebody, it tends to be painful. It will cause a wide range of issues, including torment, retching, and intense unfavorably susceptible contact dermatitis. Typically, dealing with one of these creatures will not murder an individual. All things considered, there is a danger of a serious hypersensitive response, bringing about death whenever left untreated. It's in every case best to work under a look yet don't contact strategy where the blue sea dragon is concerned. Number 1 is Common King's Lair. The common king's layer, Molokini, is a type of Rukanji jellyfish that is tiny contrasted with bigger creatures like the Australian box jellyfish. M. Kinney estimates a nearly minuscule 1 inch, 3 centimeters, and is completely straightforward, making them hard to spot. They compensate for their little size via conveying an especially terrible taxin, which can prompt Rukanji disorder. Whenever beset with the disorder, most grown ups can hope to encounter serious agony quick pulse, and retching. While demise is uncommon, it can occur. The name regular King's Layer was given to the jellyfish following Robert King's passing, an American traveler who kicked the bucket in the wake of being stung. Ruler is the lone individual who is known to have been murdered by their sting, yet he's by all account not the only individual who's been hit by them. Stings are moderately regular because of the trouble swimmers have in seeing and dodging them. It's accepted that their taxon turns out to be more powerful as they develop. Since King's demise in 2002, more consideration has been given to M. Kinney, which was first depicted just five years following King's demise. 